Michelle here from Walking 2x2 Two Two, and we're at episode number three. So today we're going to talk about fruit and dehydrating fruit. I don't know about you, but when I'm out on the trail for a long time, say a month or two months, I really crave fresh fruit. I, I just want fresh fruit all the time. And unfortunately, it's hard to come by unless you go through a town. Today, we're going to look at dehydrating some fruits. Now, don't be afraid when you're playing around with your dehydrator and you are dehydrating your fruits. Experiment. Try your favorite fruits. I'm only going to give an example of a few that we're going to do today, um, but don't be afraid to try all fruits. Um, there's some great fruits out there that you can take on the trail. My favorites at the moment are blueberries. I love blueberries, they are so good for you. I will dehydrate them and um, put them on my morning rice. The other thing I do, and I have done this in the past on some treks where I've bought dehydrated blueberry powder. And yes, you can get it and you can do it yourself, but it can be pretty expensive. I mean, I don't know where you're from, but blueberries aren't the cheapest thing to buy. So if you can buy the blueberry powder, um, it's a great thing to take out. I bought mine in a health, local health food store. So have a look at that, you know, try shopping around as well. Look at some of these health food stores, some of the supermarkets and see what is available. We're also going to be dehydrating baby food. That's right. So keep watching and find out what baby food we are dehydrating today. So if you're enjoying the series so far, that's really good, so give us a thumbs up. Also press subscribe. And I'd like to ask you all to share, share this around with the hiking community, with other people you know, because this is what it's about. It's about sharing. And if it can help others feed their hike and prepare them and inspire them to get out there and hike in a healthier and a better way, then that's all good. Also, we have some great episodes coming up soon, so I do stay tuned. Um, the next one will be on pasta and rice, so coming up in the near future too on meal planning. Also, we will have an episode on putting meals together. If you have any recipes or ideas, pop them in the comments below. I will be doing an episode on your recipes in the future so put them in there and then i will recreate your favorite recipes Dehydrated fruits to take out on the trail is just as easy as doing dehydrated veggies and it's pretty much the same process. If you want to see the dehydrated veggies, go to the description below and there will be a link in there so that you can go back and watch a previous episode. These are some that I'd done up earlier for a trip out on the track. Um, as you can see I've got some yummy kiwi fruit, um, some strawberries, these banana chips, I actually bought these. I don't bother dehydrating banana chips myself. I have done in the past, but to be honest with you, I kind of like the ones that you buy in the shop. Um, and yes, they are a little bit sweeter, the ones in the shop. But if you want to dehydrate your own banana chips, then um, I will tell you 
the directions to do that. Some cranberries here, which again, I did not dehydrate the cranberries myself. Um, I bought these in the shop already done. Another thing that I have done, and this is one, this is actually, I actually pulled this back out of my backpack because I carry this with me. And it's usually got more in it. Um, and what this is, is actually dehydrated cucumber with some lemon and a lime rind that I have dehydrated. Now, the reason that I do this is that when I'm out on the trail, when you're drinking water constantly, it, it kind of gets boring. Um, so I like to pop this into my water bottle and um, it just gives it just something a little bit extra. So the cucumber, you would dehydrate the cucumber exactly the way you do all the others and the same with the lemon rind. So here as you can see I have my lemon rind stash. Now I use the lemon rind in a lot of different recipes, the same with the lime. Um, I, I find that it just adds that little extra zing to and flavors to your recipes. So it's always something handy. Shame you can't smell that. I just opened that lid and oh my God, the smell is amazing. Mm. Okay, close the lid. Again, you just store it in your cupboard the same way. You can see here, I've got many strawberries. I kind of like strawberries. These are my leftover kiwi fruits. And here, as you can see, and it kind of looks a little bit gross, I will admit, but it's not. It's, it, this is uh, some of the lemon. As you can see, I've got the lemon rinds here, but I didn't want to waste the lemon, so I've gone and sliced that up and dehydrated that as well. Now, with this, you can also add this to your water while you're out there or I sometimes will grind it up into a powder um, and you can stir that the powder into your water as well for flavor um, it's really good or put it into your different recipes so that is a handy thing to do and again you do exactly the same method as you would dehydrate anything else and you make sure that the slices are thin open this up so you would make sure that you slice it quite thinly and place it onto your tray and make sure you dehydrate it at a lower temperature of around 55, 60 degrees Celsius. Put some apples, um, because I don't have that in my stock. So get yourself a decor after you've washed your apple, decor it. We don't want the core in there at all. So once your apple's decored, we're going to slice it again. You want to do it relatively thinly. Um, might be enough, let's give that a go. I don't like to take the skin off because there's a lot of nutrients in the skin. You can take the skin off if that's your preference. It's up to you. That's a personal choice. Make sure that's thin. So you can see that's quite thin. So just slice up your apple. If you don't have one of these machines, then just use a knife. It does the same job. Oh, it's gonna be amazing. Now the thing is with apples, as summer fruits, as you know, they will brown, apples, bananas, they will tend to brown when the air gets to them. So because you're dehydrating at a slow temperature and a slow pace, a lot of air is getting to them. So you will want to put on a bit of lemon juice or lime juice just to stop it from browning. Now there are a few methods to do that with the lemon or the lime juice. There are a few different ways you can do that um, and a few different ideas on what works best and you know you decide for yourself give it a go and try um, I often just out of sheer laziness will buy concentrate lemon juice and um, use that you can put it in a spray bottle um, and just spray it on or pour it into a bowl which I'm going to do
So I'm just going to pop in my apples and just move them around. Now, there's some people will actually soak these for a good 12 hours. I personally don't because I feel that the flavor gets, the lemon flavor gets too far into the apple. Um, again, that is a personal choice. You give it a go. I don't think 12 hours is necessary. Um, but hey, each, each to their own and you try what you believe would work. But I would let that just sit on there for a few minutes at least. Give it a good soaking. Now while that's soaking away, we will go on to the next. Here I have some blueberries. Now you can already get these uh, dehydrated um, from the markets or in the supermarket. So you don't have to do this yourself. And I have to say, it does take a long time for these to dehydrate. If you want to dehydrate them, the best way to do is I wouldn't do them whole because they can be quite large and they do take a while. I mean, if you want, you could do them whole, but I personally wouldn't be bothered. So the best thing to do is to slice them up and make them smaller. Remember, the smaller the space, the easier it is for these to dehydrate and in turn, the quicker for them to rehydrate. Now, I often do take these out onto the trail and sprinkle them over my breakfast. I like to have rice for breakfast with loads of fruit and protein powder sprinkled on top um, and nuts. So these are always really good to take. They're full of vitamins. Those of you who are worried that they will lose their vitamin quality, they don't in the dehydrating process. I, I have not seen any evidence of that anywhere. You get your tray and again these will shrink in size there's a lot of water in there so I wouldn't trust that they would stay on the tray like that they will get smaller and fall through so as a precautionary I will put some parchment paper on there if you're doing strawberries you would give them a good wash de-stem Slice them like that, or you would slice them that way. Now, I am not gonna do the strawberries, only because I do have so many. Okay, now let's do our apples. They've been soaking for a little while. They should be all right. Now, if they do go a little bit brown in your dehydrator, don't worry about it. You know, it's not bad, it's just the color. So it's not gonna hurt you. So don't think that because yours turned out brown that they didn't work. They still worked they just a bit brown and that's okay with your apple you can dehydrate these into apple chips and make them very crispy and to do that I would put the dehydrator on a high setting of 70 degrees um, and let them go until they're really really crispy um, but we're not going to do that we're just going to dehydrate these to a softer dehydrate so you would put the temperature setting on around 50 degrees and then pop that in your dehydrator Kiwi fruit, um, again, I'm not going to do these because I've already got some. So, but what you would do would peel off the skin and then slice it up nice and thinly and place it out onto the tray. With kiwi fruit, you don't need to put the lemon juice on them. They'll be okay. Now there is a favorite that people like, especially kids, for snacks while you're out there, while you're walking along. And that's leather straps, fruit leather straps. Now this one is an apple and pear one that I made. 
and um, the easy way to do that is to stew your fruit whatever fruit that you like and then you spread it out onto your tray and um, put it into the dehydrator so this one was actually made from believe it or not baby food I discovered baby food when we were on one of our hikes in Europe and we needed to get we wanted to have some fruit that we could carry um, and have with our breakfast while we we're out on the trail and I thought you know what why not use baby food it's a hundred percent fruit puree with no preservatives or anything added to it it's just pure fruit so I thought you know that was the easiest way for me to do it while I was traveling abroad um, and I've actually gotten into the habit on short trips on the track I would take this out to have with my breakfast um, or to even have with dessert so we're going to make some leather strips with baby food so what you're going to need is your tray with the solid backing now if you don't have one of these don't worry just use parchment paper um, usually though for the fruit levers I do prefer to do it this way on here um, because it is a lot easier to peel it off at the end rather than on the parchment paper it tends to stick if you want to use the baby food all you have to do is open it up and pour it out and spread it all over if you were to stew your own fruit you would stew your fruit then you would wait till it cools down puree it in a blender and then pour it out over your tray Now this is done it actually took six hours for this one to do and I did turn it over halfway through so that it could dry quicker I find it just dries quicker you can see it's it's a bit like leather so hence fruit leathers so I just rip it up now into small pieces I'm not fussed Make sure it's completely cooled down before you put it away in a storage container. The apple is done. As you can see, it is completely dry. Once again, make sure it's completely cooled down before you store it. berries are done they're all completely dry and cooled off and that's what they look like and that is what it was before let's separate that so you can see the difference so they shrink quite a bit but they're super delicious <laughs> 